Hey guys, welcome to the fourth season of Trainwreck Barbie. Now, you might notice something different about the Dream House. Well, I changed a few things. I took out that fireplace and instead put in this kind of like, here, let's put the walls up. So it looks like that now. And there's a door to the basement where we have the laundry room and Barbie's sex dungeon. Eh, whatever. All the, or I guess you could call it a porn room. Cause that, Yeah, let's be honest. That's what's that's what's happening in this room is Barbie's making porn for her. Whatever the Sims version of like <laughs> porn hub would be. Only Sims? Maybe she's doing stuff for her only sims. Oh, hey, it's Teresa. You better come and invite her in. She's just standing there now dripping wet. Okay, let's go invite her in. Now, I had an idea for today's episode. Because I'm trying to l really lean into the train wreck this season. Because, let's be honest, that's what you guys want to see. You want to see the train wreck. So, yeah, we're... We got a sex dungeon now. I changed up, like, the vanity a little bit. And you can even see by the toilet, there's a box of pads, because with so many women in this house, uh, I feel bad for Ken. Also, Ken, why don't you do the laundry? The washing machines are custom content from 6M. The same um, custom content creator that made the Life in Plastic, um, you know, pack, CC pack, which is the CC from the Barbie movie. So, like, this bed and these lamps. The vanity thing. The chair in the corner. These, like, rounded couches. Although, let's put this in the fridge so it doesn't spoil, okay? I'm tired of throwing away food because dumb sims leave it out. Oh, I have missed looking at this pool. I 
Okay. Ken, have you finished doing the laundry? I doubt it. But I think he went around and, like, at least loaded it in. But Sims never actually wash it. They just load it into the machine and then... Oh, look. Didn't even load it into the machine. Well, then where's the dirty laundry? Okay, and it, there's, well, Chelsea's hamper is full. Ken. Oh, you're tense because you're on your period? Oh, that sucks for you. Have a drink. Do some drugs. That's what we're here to see. So what I actually wanted to do today was... Have Barbie buy a restaurant. Now... I'm trying to think of like a punny name for the restaurant, but I got nothing. So if you guys think of one, let me know. You know, something that has to do with weed and you're getting high and Barbie. Because this is, right now it's called Barbie's Bistro, but because I use the a lot of the Cozy Bistro kit for this build. But basically, everything we are serving at this restaurant is either going to be alcoholic or full of weed. So that's what we're going to do. Because <laughs> it'll be fun. Okay, restaurant menu. So, yeah, I guess water will have to be... on the menu. But uh, yeah, we're doing all the drinks. Okay, maybe let's not do moonshine and let's not do... Absinthe. Because absinthe is disgusting anyway. Okay, so there's the, all the alcohol. Now the appetizers. We're only gonna... Choose... 
dishes that say they have weed in them. Okay, so... Are there even any weed-filled appetizers? Doesn't look like it, so I guess not everything will have weed in Because, you know, I guess she would get the munchies from all that weed, so you would need something... I guess maybe let's do french fries. Breadstick, bread roll. Maybe chips and salsa. Pretzel. Fruit salad. Cheesy bread, meat and cheese platter, um, Caesar salad. Let's just do that. Okay, now for the weed. Only picking stuff that has weed in it. Okay, let's do... There, weed pizza, weed tacos, I know there's more me, more weed dishes. Weed pancake. Uh, does, hmm. Never heard of a Monte Cristo sandwich. How's that different from any other sandwich. Whatever. Yeah, so I guess the... menu isn't gonna be that you know diverse or you know that big okay That works.
And then for dessert, you've got weed brownie. And weed cupcake. Anything else with weed in it? Nope, doesn't look like it. So, just that. Although I'm thinking maybe For appetizers, we just do like breads. Just now that I think about it, I was really hoping that we could do like weed and everything. Okay. Let's enter create a sim and design some pink outfits for all the employees. So first the chef. I don't think this outfit comes in pink. You know what? Let's make this easier on us. And turn on the pink filter. Yeah, just as I thought. No pink. No pink swatch. I guess we'll have to deal with white. These at least have pink on the soles. So I guess that works. Yeah, let's just go with white. So for the chef outfits, let's do that. For the wait staff, let's do No. I think that one actually does have a pink swatch. Yes it does. We're using it. Okay, and... We 
we could do heels, like custom content heels, or we could do and Should we do pink? That's that's hideous. Let's just do that. No stockings. Okay, and then for the male weight stuff. Once again, make it pink. And for the shoes, and they can stay black, whatever. I don't care that much. And for the host, for the host, I think I want to do maybe this top. Because the pink swatch for this shirt that she was wearing, not that cute. That might be a little bit much for <laughs> yeah, I think that's a bit much. We could do like this one or you know what we could even do a dress now that I think about it. Maybe something like this. Or... Something like this. The trick is to make this not to look like it's a restaurant that serves weed from the outside. 
So like, you wouldn't know that everything on the menu contains weed until you look at the menu. That's kind of what I'm going for. What about this one? I think this one looks nice. Let's go with this one. And maybe some pink pumps. And then, I think we're only going to do a hostess, not a host. And so for the chef, who looks, we can hire a bear. Who looks like they'd be good at cooking weed? Hugo looks like he'd be good at making weed. And for the... Who should we hire for to be the host? I'm thinking Izumi because that hairstyle kind of sticks out to me. And then for the wait staff, let's hire. I'm thinking he is he fabulous because I mean he's already got the pink hair. Wait, isn't he famous? I hate having famous people working. Uh, oh well. Uh, let's actually get another chef and more weight stuff why the weather have to be so Sucky. Now uh, let's do this one because we just want to get rid of some of these points. Okay, and so... For our second chef, who else looks like they'd be good at making stuff with weed in it? Maybe Max?
And then for the wait staff, let's do maybe since we're doing famous people apparently. Yep, let's just do all famous people. Okay, and let's open it. And get the fuck inside. Barbie. Okay, so let me know some... Punny... Names for this place. Preferably weed-related puns. Oh, yeah. And let's... <laughs> let's lock for... Everyone but employees. Okay. Wait, I, I think I pressed the wrong button. Oh, is he has purple hair, not pink hair. So, she's terrified. Well, I'm going to end this episode here and we will pick up with this restaurant in the next one. Bye.